morning friends welcome back to my kitchen today we have a new recipe making oat burgers uh, this may be new to some of us but I know many of us uh, have heard of plant-based burgers and so today we are going to make one type there are so many varieties we are going to go to our ingredients which are Our main ingredient is going to be rolled oats. We are using the jumbo oats from Healthy You Food Store. We have brown rice which is cooked. We have red kidney beans which is boiled. We have ground nuts which are roasted. Two tablespoons of flax seeds which are soaked in six tablespoons of water. We have rock salt, cumin powder, cardamom, we have chopped garlic and onion and a forgotten ingredient was oregano. You can use thyme, mint, dill. In a mixing bowl you have hot water and basically everything is going to enter into the bowl. If you can see um, most of our ingredients are plant-based you can choose to mash them or use a food processor to process them um, all of them are rich in fiber if we will compare with the animal based burger it comes with no fiber with lots of saturated protein and oil which is the fats are high in co high cholesterol and it's not good for our health but here we have plant-based foods which are high in fiber and they are good for our health. A research done by Agatha Thrush shows that there is a component that is produced when rice is mixed with beans which is good for lowering blood cholesterol, very good for people with high blood pressure where the cause is high cholesterol in the blood. Flax eggs are very good in omega-3 acids which are good for the brain development and flax seeds generally are good for preventing breast cancer and even curing breast cancer and also tumors which are hormonal. Salt is very good, the Himalayan salt is high in minerals which are good for our health, which will balance the electrolytes in our bodies. Oats in general are rich in fiber, very good for your colon, regulating your bowel movement. Brown rice bran is rich in iron and manganese and magnesium, minerals that are good for bone strength, and even uh, the functioning of the hormones in your body. Um, many times the white rice has been robbed of the bran, which will also have acted as fiber in our diet, lowering um, the cases of diabetes and even risks for getting diabetes. We are adding flax egg, which is going to act as our binder. I will prefer it grounded so you ground it first before you soak it in hot water it is going to pull the ingredients together give this a mix and this is how it looks after mixing i just love them whole i love seeing the groundnuts and the beans and the rice and the flax eggs like that but you can choose to have them grinded cover the mixture for 10 minutes to allow the seasonings that you've added to be incorporated into the brown rice and the oats and the beans and the groundnuts and also oats has the behavior to absorb water and when it absorbs it behaves like the chia seeds so allow it to do that and then we'll be back. Line your baking tray and I'm using an improvised um, 
tool to shape my burgers i've just lined it with aluminium foil the mixture is cold so there is no harm and i'm going to scoop the mixture using the quarter cup measuring equipment and i'm going to make the burgers so do this for the all the dough and ensure there is enough space for them to bake well you don't have to have the parchment paper for lining you can directly line with a, a little layer of oil perhaps olive oil coconut oil a, any preferred oil this recipe is going to give you 11 burgers So once you're done, it's time to take them to the oven. And we already preheated our oven at 200 degrees for five minutes. And you're going to bake this for 15 minutes on each side. Once you've baked for 15 minutes, flip them, then bake for another 15 minutes until they're done. You can choose to pan fry them the way you will have cooked your pancakes or even your vegetable patties. You can choose to shallow fry them in a pan. Depends on what you prefer. Our burgers are well cooked and they have cooled for 10 minutes and this, this is how they are looking, they are looking beautiful. They have held their shape and I just like how they have come out. I made some buns that I was going to use for the demonstration and for my consumption. I'll show you how I'll, I've made them in the coming videos. You're going to use just three for so you can store the others in a refrigerator up to one week or longer depends on how you handle them and you can use them for another time it's best to store them in an airtight uh, container or even paper to avoid the mixing of flavors being that it has onion which really absorbs uh, flavor and smell cut your buns into half and you can dress it or layer this with mayonnaise with avocado tomatoes some lettuce or spinach or any vegetable that you have available today i'm going to use avocado and tomatoes I'm going to start with a layer of avocados which I've mashed then I'm going to put my burgers on top on top of the burgers I am going to put sliced tomatoes you can do lettuce you can do even tomato sauce instead it depends on you and this is a complete food. We have carbohydrates from the buns, even from the burger, and we have enough protein in the burger. We have vitamins from the avocado and the tomatoes. And so even as you anticipate to prepare this meal, remember we are to eat to the glory of God. With whatever knowledge you receive, you can always with willingness practice it and god is definitely going to multiply this remember to be a channel of light wherever you are the lord daily depends on you enjoy and have a blessed week bye see you